And welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 3rd of May 2022. It's Mike Smith, your senior analyst for Go Markets here. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. Of course, overnight we had a whipsaw session in the US. We saw all stocks rebound, however, after touching 2022 lows, closing towards the high. Obviously, the Fed has got a little bit of an economic juggling act to perform with an interest rate decision this week, but also concerns over economic slowdown. So although the market has priced in 0.5% rise in the US rate, what will be interesting is the narrative that goes along with that when that decision is released later in the week. US futures are trading near neutral today in Asia so far, and Asian markets are mixed. The ASX is the underperformer again as the market waits for the RBA decision later this afternoon. US dollar index showed strength again yesterday. It's continuing to trade around four-year highs and is retesting short-term resistance. We're seeing gold dropping as a result of that USD strength, and that's testing the 200 EMA support to the downside around about that 1850 level. We're also seeing gold edging higher, brand contract trading around 108 this morning, and the VIX is trading around about 30, so dropped a little from yesterday, but still on the high side as market uncertainty appears to be rife. Bitcoin has dropped again and it's trading towards the lower end of the short term range, and of course. We've got big U.S. earnings this week, the busiest week on the S&P 500. We've got U.S. jobs and the RBA, as well as the Fed, which we've already referenced. On top of that, today, we've got German and Eurozone employment numbers. And later on, we've got U.S. factory orders. Those are the data highlights for today. Plenty for the markets to digest right now as market uncertainty continues. And let's have a look at a couple of charts. We'll see Qantas here. We referenced the strength in the travel stocks yesterday, and you can see that push higher in today's session over 580 that's a critical level technically we can see that if we look on the weekly chart throughout much of late 2021 uh, we can see that this was a level that the market tested on numerous occasions so this is an important technical break and if we take this right back you can again see it was important in the back end of 2020 also so a move up to six dollars looks on the cards there's certainly some buying pressure in this sector at the moment just check out the Australian dollar on the daily chart versus the USD. You can see there we've got a bounce off 70 cents essentially. Looking strong in Asia today on, on the back of what is anticipated to be an interesting uh, decision. Whether the RBA raised by quarter or a half a percent seems to be the debate uh, rather than will they raise. Looks as though the market is pricing in that half percent rise as we watch what's happening on this particular pair this morning. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.